MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the Pawtucket Red Sox and the Columbus Clippers. Casey Waters will stand in now. He homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Well, he's had seven RBIs in his last ten games, so he is producing runs, and he had another good one yesterday. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1-1. The 0-1-1 delivery. Yeah, and he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. EK are visitors here as they take the field tonight following a scoreless top half. They've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last ten ball games. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. Peter Witt will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. On the ground to third, Waters. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing, nothing. Stepping in, Casey Waters. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he went down in flames, too. Got him on just three pitches. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Not much to shout about for either team here as we start the fourth inning. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that pitching might take the upper hand here. One and Maybe one. not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. One and one. Here it comes. And he comes up empty ball, there on a pitch in the dirt and falls behind now one and two. So far, he's the only guy that struck out for these guys. He's in danger of making it two, two, two now. Yep. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Wow, just a... Digging in to try it again, Joey Butler. He flew out in his last at-bat. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Billy Gonzalez in now, hopped out in his first trip. Left side. Throw to second for the four shot, and the side is retired. Brennan Bosch will be our leadoff man when we return. We played four. Casey Waters will stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Cordero is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. The left fielder number 24. Casey Waters digs in to lead off the bottom of the eighth inning. Well, it's a close ball game, but it's starting to get late. So they need to get at least one back here in this inning. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. And a pitch in one the ball, dirt as he strike. lays off. It's one and one. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. On the ground, up the middle, to his left, Marrero. And a good throw gets him one gun. Brennan Bosch steps in. He scored after reaching on a single his last time up. Crowd gets up for the 3-2.
Oh, what a dive. The throw. It's there. Oh. He got him. Oh, what a play. First baseman, number five. On a ball hit like that, if you're the pitcher, you're thinking, oh, base hit. But not this time. What tremendous defense out there. Great diving stop. Makes the play and gets the out. And the pitcher acknowledges it. And he... Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, I thought he really pitched well. He, he ran into a few problems here and there along the way, but aside from that, he was definitely Fans a difference maker out score. there. Now from your exclusive home for minor league baseball, MLB The Show is on the air. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the Pawtucket Red Sox and the Columbus Club. Casey Waters up, will stand in, and he wasn't alone in wearing the collar in last night's ball game, in which the team Water. could muster all of one run. Well, guys, he's really been scuffling lately, hitting under 250 over his last 10 games. So he's going to be looking to turn this thing around sometime soon. And time now to see. In now, Anthony Wrecker, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. James Yang will stand in now. Happy that this series is at home, no doubt, as you see his splits right there. Has to be thinking strikeout here. Line to the right side. But taken in over at He's first out. for the second out, as that might have been extra bases. Casey Waters now steps in now. Third baseman, Casey Waters. Curveball oh, is no nowhere break. close, and it's 1-0. Oh. Yeah, trying to go front door with that breaking ball. Started it a little too far inside, though. Hit high in the air down the right field line. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So a strong start on the mound as he's blanked him through the first. Casey Waters will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there. And he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long. And I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. And that's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. It's been free and easy the whole way through. Uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0-2 now. That oh, misses 1-2. and two. Mm, Tough pitch to lay off there with two strikes. I'm not sure if that was a good take or whether he just got fooled on a change. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. And guys, a good outing on the mound for the man you see right there, the recipient of our Topps Player of the Game Award. Yeah, he wound up turning things over to his bullpen in the ninth, but still, now, eight strong innings for him. And he was hitting his spots all game long. One run on nine so that's games. a wrap here tonight for my partners in the booth. The show's continuing coverage of minor league baseball is on the air. Tonight, it's the third of this four-game weekend series between the Pawtucket Red Sox and the Columbus Clippers. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. At the plate, Casey Waters. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Casey Waters. Now we'll snap one off over no, to the bag. Didn't. And the runner will get back standing. Keeping him close. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Set to deliver the 0-1. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. 
Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Next 0-2 one and two. misses, and that'll move it to 1-2 and two now. EK, you take a look at our visitors as they enter play here this evening. They've run their win streak up to six. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. So one run on one hit, no errors, and two left. Casey Waters is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Into the windup and the pitch. To short. To his left, Marrero. Throw on to Craig will be in time, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Three innings complete. Pedro Cordero will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. Chopped weakly to the left. Right to him. And he is in there. Alejandro Flores in now. Popped out in his first trip. To third. He's got it. To second for one. On to first, and they get the double play. But boy, was he ever upended at second. Casey Waters will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Hit down the third baseline. But uh, this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Now a fastball here that will wisely lay off, and it's 1-2. and two. Well, you know, when you're behind an account like this, it's all about changing your approach at the plate. you got to shorten up a little bit and just look to put the two ball strike. in play. 2-2 two and two now with two away, and the base is empty. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. So many times, pitchers will get ahead, and they'll start to mess around. And the next thing you know, it's a full count like it is here. Fielded by Rutledge. Throw on to Craig will be in time, and the inning is over. Brennan Bosch will be our leadoff man when we return. Striding in to start the ninth, Casey Waters, and they'll need him to get something going here. Well, you're facing a pretty big deficit in this game, so they need to start clawing back. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Royer is there to make the catch, and it's a dreadful start to the bottom of the ninth. One pitch. And as we wrap things up here, what do you say we name this guy right here as the recipient of our Tops Player of the Game Award? Yeah, he was definitely a big part of this the victory. You see there, four RBIs for him in the ball game. Time for baseball of the AAA variety as the show brings you coverage from the International League. Today we wrap up this four-game weekend series between the Pawtucket Red Sox and the Columbus Clippers. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. Casey Waters will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Yeah, not really a great performance for him yesterday, but that's just part of this ball game. You have to know that those rough ones are going to come up and bite you every once in a while. Another look to first. And a dive, but he's back. First pitch of the at-bat. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Swing and a high pop-up straight back, though it looks as though he'll have room back there. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. Steve, how do they go about ending this losing streak? Travis Royer will stand in now. And as you can see, he enters play with 16 home runs on the season so far. Grounded to third. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. And with that, 
Coming to the plate now, Casey Waters. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Oh, and it's so important to take advantage of these kind of opportunities early in a ball game. It can change the entire complexion of the game if you can put the other guys on their heels right away. Swing and a liner. Foul. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. On the ground to the left side. Royer ranges to his right. Throw on to Craig will be in time, and the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. Casey Waters digs in, and we'll see what he can do here with two on and two Casey out here in the fifth. Waters. Yeah, a couple of ducks on the pond out there looking to make that trip home. Oh, this is one. a big two-out A-B right here, guys. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Two. two down, runners at first and second. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. Oh, and this deflects right off him. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. A couple of... Casey Waters will stand in for the fourth time now, still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far, and they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. Swing and a miss, one and one. Now a throw over to first, and he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake that time as he's picked off to end the inning. Casey Waters digs in to lead off the bottom of the eighth inning. Third baseman, Casey Waters. And that's taken high and outside for ball one. High in the air out to center field. Lamar is there. He's got it one away. Well, runs at something of a premium here in this matchup, so it doesn't make it quite as hard to find our top player of the game. Yeah, and I think we probably could.